So back in Harrogate again tonight and I'm staying at the Cedar Court Hotel. Now, I stayed in the Cedar Court Hotel in Bradford a few nights ago and I was quite impressed with it. So I saw this one came up in Harrogate. So I thought I'd give it a try. And this is the building. Nice garden area. As you can see, like a big casebo thing there. Car park. I doubt it's going to be free, but it'll be nice if it is free. And Cedar Court Hotel. Let's check in and see what we think. Hello. So we're on three, three, three. Similar design to the um, one in Bradford. Well, actually, it's a totally different design. I meant like the inside interior corridor bit. Oh, there it is. First impressions is it's warm in here. Right, it's so the first impressions of the room I've just walked in and it's absolutely boiling and that's a double bed. Big enough for me, but the hotel I was in last night, the Grand Gr Gr Crown, Crown Plaza, which is actually cheaper than this one, the bed was huge. But I'm going to have to switch that heating down. Right. Thermostat sensor, do not touch. I'm going to have to touch something, it's absolutely boiling. What the heck, someone's got on 24. Get that turned down. So yeah, let's have a look then. So you walk in, you've got a 32 inch TV on the wall here. Hmm. You've got a little chair to sit on here. I suppose it's a nice view outside. Like a big window. One of them old fashioned type windows. Got a mirror, not a full length one, but you can see the full length in it if you stand back. The bathroom, sink area, toilet, bath, and shower above the bath. The floor's a bit creaky, but then these buildings are very old, it's an old building. Yeah, toilet looks clean enough. Some soap, things for shavers, electric shavers. Let's check the shower. I don't want to push this too. I always have a bad feeling of like pulling that open and then shattering. Can you imagine how bad that would be? Right, let's check the shower. Okay, that's the bath, but I can see that it's low water pressure. So, how do you use that shower? Let's uh, investigate. What? Now I can't even switch the thing off. Right, okay. So now the shower's working. Yeah. But why won't it work in the first time? Okay, let's not play about too much. That's the shower. Shower works. 
Now how do you switch the tap off? Okay, let's not touch that anymore. Let's take my shoes off. Okay, you got tea coffee making facilities, you got biscuit. One biscuit, you type people. Why not two biscuits? Well, there was two staying in this room. One biscuit's not enough. In your kettle. And I do do room service. And there's the menu. Okay. Okay, first impressions of the room. You got your ironing board there, you got a fan there, you got plenty of coat hangers. First impression of the room is I'm gonna to have to compare it with the Grand Plaza. If you haven't seen it, go back and watch it. It's the video before this one. And uh, that was actually cheaper than this. This was actually £78 for the night. That was £62 for the night. And But then I paid £12 parking for that one. I paid £8 for this one. Um, but So the car pack was £8. So altogether I paid like uh, £88. £86 I paid for this. And altogether I paid £74. For the Grand Plaza. And the Grand Plaza was a lot nicer than this room. Doesn't mean this room's a bad room. It just means it's... Uh, it's not as snazzy, that's the right word to use. It's not as snazzy as the uh, hair dryer. It's not as snazzy as the Crown Plaza. And the Crown Plaza, everything about it was modern. It's, uh, it worked around the modern design. It's modern. This isn't modern. This is old fashioned. I mean, with creaky floors and. Uh, I don't get the relaxed vibe in this room as I did that one, but we'll make do with it. So. Let's check the bed out. <sighs> Quite a hard bed that, but it'll do, it'll do. I'm not moaning just for the sake of it, it's just... <sighs> it's just a bit disappointing when I could have paid less for the uh, Crown Plaza. But anyway, it's not all failed. I'm going to get showered, changed, comfy. Then we'll chill out, see what the shower's like, and then we'll check the bear out. And uh, I'll see you soon. Ah, oh, well. Had the shower. Finally figured out to work the shower out. It's just me not using that in there enough. Anyway. Had the shower. Refreshed now. Room was still hot. Turned the radiator down. Heat was still coming from it. So I just switched it off at the wall. So now I've just opened the window wider. I'm just going to sit here with a beer, a coarse light, got them from Morrison's on the way here. I'm going to chill for about half an hour, might put some tunes on. Ah oh dear. That's quite refreshing. I didn't think it'll taste that nice because there's no fridge in this room. But I've made it look as cosy as I can by putting the, bed, the lights on at the end of the bed. Done my best. And yeah, you know what? Maybe I was a bit harsh because maybe this room is nice. Now I'm looking around, it is a nice room. And the thing is, what I do, staying in different hotels, I can't stay in the same hotel twice. And that would be... I mean, obviously, when I'm bored, I do. Um, when you book a package holiday, even then, I sometimes move to different hotels. But what I do, it's like... Uh, I decided I was going to be around this... Well, not in this area, but, I mean, within, like, 15 mile away from Harrogate. That's why I actually am... Uh, working about 15 25 mile away from Harrogate and I just think to myself like uh stay in different hotels like so yeah I did the Grand Plaza last night that was really nice tonight I'm doing uh here I am just rambling again you know just rambling weird stuff but yeah I just thought I'd spend a few nights in Harrogate or a couple of so I'll see how long it takes but yeah I like Harrogate it's a nice area it's in the countryside out the way of everything 
very pleasant area. And the hotels are very nice hotels in Harrogate. And uh, this is very relaxing, having a beer, window open, overlooking the car park and the greenery, which is a lot of greenery about, with a nice breeze starting to come in. What else could you wish for? I mean, there's no aircon in this room, but then when you've got a big window like that, if it wasn't for that heater being on when I walked in, it would be quite pleasant. Anyway, I'm rambling on. I'm going to drink this beer. Check the Wi-Fi out. And uh, I'll see you guys downstairs at the bar. See what it's like. I'll see you soon. Oh. Having a lazy one. And I'm still sat in the same place. Should have been down the bar by now. But just sort of like, oh, dead relaxed. With the breeze coming in. And I was just uh before I went down, I was just looking at his room menu. And I thought I'd show you it. I mean, I don't know if you can see. But what's shocking is the drinks. Okay. So the drinks, they have beer and ciders. They only have one beer on draft, according to this, which is £6 a pint, and that's beer Moretti. They have Feigstons, which is like an ale, an Irish cider. And then they have bottles, a bottle of Heineken, which is 0% at £4. 0% at £4. Ouch. They have a bottle of Sol Lager, 330ml. It's only just a normal size bottle. £5. Ouch. And Old Mount Cider for £4.60. Now, I like to have a beer on a draft. But looking at that, Birria Moretti, that's the only lager they have on draft, and it's £6 for a pint. I don't think I'm going to be hanging around that bar too long, to be honest with you. I'll try that one pint out, uh, just for the uh, the bar. And then after that, I'm going to head out, see where it sells. Corona, oh, of course. But no, it's like the food as well. I mean, this. A few items that's 24-7 on the menu, like smoked salmon sandwich, which is £11. Actually, it doesn't say... Yeah, it is sandwich. Free range egg mayonnaise, £8 for the sandwich. Yorkshire ham sandwich, £9. Um, classic club sandwich, which has got char grilled chicken fillet, crispy bacon, fried egg, pepper, tomato, mayonnaise and baby jam. Guess how much that is? Do you want me to tell you? I'll show you. Yeah, you saw it right. Fifteen pound for a sandwich. Now, say you did want to order from the mains, then the room service you can order at room service, although it shuts, I believe, at uh, eleven a.m. to nine fifteen, and then Sundays eleven a.m. to eight fifteen. So, burger, if you went for a 7 ounce Yorkshire cat jar grilled burger, which is crispy, straight, no, crispy streaky bacon, beef tomato, little gem, uh, onion relish, matured cheddar, skinny fries, and house slot, that would be £19 for a burger, for a main meal. And that's just a burger. Now, if you went for the proper mains, which is here, so, 8 ounce, 28 day, dry aged Hereford breed sirloin, Steak, triple ch triple cut chips, roasted plum tomato, portobello mushroom. That would be thirty pound, thirty pound. So yeah, it's definitely not a cheap menu. You get my gist, don't you? Anyway, let's get this uh, after shave on. Ow, ow, that hurt, stump. And we'll get down to the bar in a sec. So things to do in Harrogate. Just in case anyone were interested, take a screenshot. Let's get 
to the back. So finally made it to the bar and I've opted for Amstel. £5.50 a pint, so they do do more on tap. That's what I had in the uh, Bradford Cedar Court, pints of Amstel. So yeah, bar area. Okay. It's nice, you got the restaurant there. Which I'm not eating in, so I don't go in there. And then behind me, the bar area. Nice spa, very stylish. Anyway, cheers. I'm still not my best beer, but unfortunately, I don't have Corona. And the second best is Cause Light. Or just Cause, it's called now. Cause. But yeah, it's not bad. Cheers. Okay, so we're outside the hotel now, getting on a bit, and um, yeah, I'm going to go and look for some food, see how far it is to get to Harrogate City Centre from the hotel. The receptionist said it's about 5 or 10 minute walk, so let's see, pick it up when we get there. I must admit, the hotel at night time certainly stands out. Looks really nice at night time, all lit up and everything. Why is that upside down? Yeah, looks nice at night time, all lit up. The hotel, see the court. It is a, like a grand building, to be honest with you. I mean, downstairs is really nice, it's just the room's not up to scratch, in my opinion. It's not bad by any means, but when you compare it what you can get for similar price, then it's not good. Okay, so I'm approaching Harrogate City, well, town centre, whatever it is, now. And it took me about a 10 minute walk from the hotel. So it's, hotel's in last night, probably about similar distance. Um, which was the Grand Plaza. Tonight I'm in the uh, Cedar Court. So yeah, about a 10 minute walk, straight uh, straight downhill basically. Go past Odeon Cinema and then yeah, get into Harrogate Town Centre. And then you decide what you want to do. Let's go into this knicker shop. Oh, left. Straight forward. You know these are shut now, it's getting on for 11 o'clock at night. But yeah, you get the gist. So, let's go and have a look for somewhere to perhaps have a quick drink and then we'll go and get some food. Oh, should I say, I will go and get some food, me. Without getting ran over. Yeah, thanks. It's just what I do all the time. Just uh, when you're recording yourself, you end up walking in the middle of the road sometimes without actually realising you're walking in the middle of the road. It's a really quiet night now in Harrogate. I mean, in Harrogate. Portofino Italian. You know what? Let's pick it up when we get somewhere decent. Okay. So I found some central central place with some monument. So we found this place. 
So now we just need to find where everything is. Crown Plaza, a lot easier to find everything than the Cedar Court, that's a fact. But anyway, we'll get there. Okay, so I found the McDonald's we were at last night. So we are literally in the centre of everything now. Now it's just finding a nice, peaceful, peaceful location for a drink. Now I've got plenty of eating options. I've got McDonald's, I've got kebab places, and I've got uh, Sainsbury's and Tesco. Them smaller shops, you know, where you get meal deals and that, that. So, yeah, next job is just to get a pint somewhere and then sort the food out. Okay, this is all I can find. Let's go down here. It's not every day I'd go down into a uh, unknown location underground in a city I'm not aware of but I think this is the only chance we're going to get what we want so yeah I found myself in this dun dungeon of a bar and I do corona so yeah ching 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 so when I saw I did corona I got two bottles of corona not sure how much it cost me I'll check my bank in a bit, but I'm hoping that it's reasonable. I'll let you know. Yeah, another mission accomplished, which is get the Corona beer. Cheers. Corona beer in the dungeon. So yeah, got out there. Now to see where to eat. I thought I saw Sainsbury's around here. Okay. Maybe not. But that Tesco just shut. Just as I came out of that bar, I was going to go to that Tesco and it shut. So now we found the hunt for Corona was successful. Now it's hunt for Sainsbury's. Then again, how do we know that Sainsbury's done have the same fate of shutting as soon as I walk up to the door? Okay, and now it's starting to rain as well. This is starting to get urgent. Oh, dear me. So it's pouring with rain, no success so far, but I have found this trotters van. Look at that. It's like trotters, that only fools and horses. That is ace. Anyway, it still doesn't solve the problem of finding somewhere to eat. I really want to avoid a McDonald's as much as I can. But it just seems like a ghost town tonight. But then I'm not, I don't think I'm right in the city centre or town centre. The hotel I was in last night was, and this one just, well, I'm not even anywhere near the hotel. I'm miles away from the hotel. I don't even know how to get back there. That's the next problem we need to solve. Once we've found food, we need to solve the problem of how to get back to the hotel. Well, McDonald's blocks everywhere else was shut, so I had to give it to McDonald's. What have I got? You have to wait till I get back to the hotel room and I'll show you what I've got. But now we've got the mission of getting back to the hotel in the first place, Sam. 
that's the monument there but I think it's left up here but yeah this is gonna be a bit of a task getting back to the hotel I like to get myself lost out I remember in Portugal um, December 2022 yeah December 2022 I proper got lost I went on a mad bar hunt and uh, you'll see the video it's when that bloke bought 16 shots of um, Jägermaster and after it I went for a walk I went on the beach and um, basically black, blacked out and then I was like uh, walking around and then I managed to get back to my hotel about 2 in the morning I actually left that bar at about um, 4 in the afternoon I was just walking for ages not finding the hotel anyway that's old days that's uh, how out of an issue tonight think it's up here and then right I'll pick it up soon and I'm back bass will open by the looks of it not many interesting characters in there so no point me going in there it's not I'm going to pull her out is it looking at the people in there Yeah, it's like reception area. Let's get to the room and pick it up. And the return of the room. So just as we're going to shut this video off, one more thing I noticed about this room, since we shut that off, I've just walked back in, was this. So in the bathroom area, that tile is falling off. So yeah. Just start to bring that to mind. When you pay like a, uh, including, including, yeah, including car park, 86 pound. You'd like everything to be right, but no, yeah, that is an issue because that could just totally fall off. It looks like it's close to falling off now. But anyway, apart from that, the room's not bad. It's a four star hotel. The surroundings are lovely. The, uh, the hotel's lovely itself. It's clean. Uh, the bar, restaurant, the, um, as you've seen, everything's like clean, well kept, and it is a well looked after hotel. It's a cedar court, the same as uh, the one in Bradford. Which one do I think is the best, this one or the one in Bradford? I would say they're about the same. Yeah, I'd put them the same. I slightly preferred the room in the one in Bradford because they weren't creaking on the floor and it was a really mellow room to chill out in. This one is um, more old-fashioned, typical British English hotel. So probably a hundred odd year old building and they've kept that sort of like touch to it. So like the furniture downstairs, it's very similar to what you'd see in the Titanic type thing. And they've kept that old history to it. They haven't modernized it. They've uh, kept that history to the hotel. And some people like that. Some people don't, some people do. Me personally prefer modern hotels. And that's why I'm not gonna score this one. So I'm not gonna give this a score. I'm just gonna say my opinion and you've heard it. But anyway, back to the uh, main point. What did I get from McDonald's? So, I got a hamburger. Put on the radiator. Keep warm. And a chilli wrap. Now, the chicken I used for the chilli wrap with this one 
which is about the crisp bomb. So this is quite healthy. So this classes as a healthy meal. So yeah. If you haven't already, hit subscribe. This is the end of the um, Cedar Court Harrogate vlog. And I uh, hope you enjoyed. If you have, give us a thumbs up. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye. Good morning. How are you all doing? So yeah, morning after the night before. And I've got to be honest, that bed was mega comfortable. Very comfortable bed. I didn't think it would be, but it turned out one of the best, comfiest beds I've probably had in a hotel room. So on that note, I'm going to get finished getting packed and get out of here. If you haven't already, hit subscribe and see you on the next one. Cheers.